Hello, and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And I've got back from the BTS show, the first BTS in two years. It was fantastic to be back. So the BTS is the British Tarantula Society. They put on a exhibition trade show often every year, the annual show, uh, the largest invert show in the UK. So it's not just tarantulas, it's all manner of invertebrates there. They do competitions and so um, and it's just a fantastic show. For me, it is the best invert show there is in the UK. Absolutely love the BTS. There's just something about the BTS that other shows just don't seem don't don't have don't have that vibe. There's a vibe around the BTS uh, that only really exists there. But in this video is going to be my show footage that I got. I didn't get a huge amount because my phone died uh, during the show. Um, but yeah, I'll be show footage along with some photos, and then at the end, I'll show you guys what I picked up. Uh, so that's what I was giving myself. Uh, the BTS is I always consider my birthday show because it's always around my birthday. It's either just after or even sometimes on my birthday. In case this year is just after it, and so uh, so I've got some things there um, that were sort of birthday gifts and stuff. Um, so thank you to everyone that did uh, give me stuff. Uh, it was fantastic, um, and just. Absolutely great to just meet everyone again, uh, meet some people again for the first time, as well as old faces as well. But let's go ahead and take a look at my footage and then what I picked up. BTS! <laughs>
okay so here we go with my pickup so first of all the dry goods i got this uh, substrate from buzzard reptile and amphibians to give this a go with some of my beetles and ice pods and stuff um so yeah pre mixed substrate obviously it's cheaper to make your own and stuff but that takes space and sometimes convenience is handy so this was a uh, seven pounds for eight liters um so we'll see what this is like <laughs> Um, also got some other substrates in the form of this flake soil from the spider shop so I've got three bags of this I think I actually got the last three bags that I had at the show and um, so this is really uh, a really really good substrate for some of the larger uh, beetle species for the larvae uh, so like your rhino beetles like Dynasties, uh, Hercules beetles, um, Silo Troopies uh, I've got and uh, potentially other beetles that I uh, perhaps picked up at the BTS so uh, yeah picked up the last uh, three bags of this and the wonderful Leah from Unusual Pets uh, gives me this bag of leaf litter and moss. And let's collect this as primarily beech leaves. In here with uh, some sphagnum moss. Lewis uh, of Urban Exotics gives me this bag of high protein uh, fish pellets. It's also it's coming handy for a lot of the roaches and even like feeder insects and stuff. Um, and even potentially certain isopods. So thanks, Lewis. And dry goods from the spider shop, I okay, got uh, three mini uh, sling water bowls. I actually really like these little water bowls, um, three for a pound. And uh, this uh, skull hide and water bowl set for, for three pounds. Um, again, I actually like these, I use these already. Got a couple of birthday cards uh, one from Annie's Arachnids, uh, which is the top one, and then the uh, other one from. Hey, Converman, Mark, and Victoria. So, thank you for the birthday cards. So, yes, BTS, I consider my birthday show. Picked up some stickers and a magnet. So, stickers uh, from A Legs for Wheels, Cotswold Crawlers, uh, Princess Sophie Pink. This is a magnet uh, that I picked up from BTS stand. Invert Manchester sticker, Bethany Spiders stickers, David Little Beasties, and finally RS Designs Russell's uh, sticker. So, my purchases uh, first actually picked up this straight away. Um, for even open this enclosure from Invert Mansions, so because uh, BTS is always sort of comes in my birthday shows, it happens either on or just after my birthday. Uh, my mum gave me money to with simply to buy an enclosure from Invert Mansions, so I went with this one. It was hard to choose though. Uh, and some more gifts uh, from Leah of Unusual Pets of some Amandalidium Klugai Montenegro, the clown isopods. Um, just to add into my group, so extra bloodlines into my little group. Uh, so thank you for that. Um, and then another little one from Leah as well of uh, some unicorn snails. I found out that she's been breeding these and keeping these, so I thought I'd be quite interested in some of these. Don't get very big. I think these ones that you see here are probably fully grown, um, but Leah may correct me on that. But I know they don't get big at all, so they're awesome little tiny snails. So thank you, Leah. Also, uh, Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild World uh, gifted me uh, this little uh, Hedgepoda David Bowie sling. So it's one that he's bred himself. So, so again, thank you uh, to Jeremy for that. Um, do go and check all these uh, channels out, guys. Uh, now, my purchase that I bought myself, I bought uh, some Porcelio Special Artists. Uh, so it's 10 here for 20 quid. These came from Curtis Larkin. Um, he's a fantastic isopod, uh, sick and set breeder, catered breeder, all sorts of things. Um, he first showed me these actually at the Seas show, um, which I was quite interested in. I didn't get them there, but yeah, picked them up this time. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll do alright with these. They're a fairly new one, I think, to the hobby. So, and from the insect farm, I actually got four of these uh, Dynasty Satanus second in star, so L2 uh, larvae. So, um, so there's one there, so that's actually a fairly decent size L2. So these guys are now actually uh, on size these two, so, um, so really uh, don't see these all too often, but uh, we're well before I see a beetle. Then from Spa Spiders, uh, went and finally actually bought some from Spa Spiders, I've seen them for uh, most of the shows, so I've got a, a Postoferia or Nata. So uh, I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while. Um, so yeah, took the plunge and got uh, yeah, a nice ornata from Spa Spiders. And then Luke was uh, kind enough uh, to actually gift me a Regardless as well. So I said I can take one if I want, fancied one. So yeah, why not? Regardless, are absolutely awesome. I've got a nice uh, uh, adult female that I've got from Sea Thornton here. And I do love uh, 
I love all the Pokies. Um, so thanks uh, very much, Luke from Spar Spiders. Go and check Spar Spiders out. Fantastic, fantastic place. Hey, Victoria of uh, TN the Deep PC. Uh, uh, got me this creatures from the North Mystery Box um, as a birthday present. Um, so this will be in a, a separate video opening this up. Um, some cool stuff in it. So, so uh, yeah, look out for that. So, so um, yeah, thank you to Victoria. Go and again, go and check out uh, T and the Deep Blue Sea's channel. And then stuff that I actually bought myself. Like was, so I got a Lowland Ivory Ornamental, so the Popeferia Safuska uh, from a Spider Shop. So I've got another one that I've kind of been looking at getting. Um, I absolutely love my Pokies. So, so uh, I thought it was about time that I added uh, some more Pokies. So I've got <laughs> three more Pokies uh, uh, today. And stuff, but yeah, two species that I, I'm yet to keep and haven't kept before. So that's absolutely fantastic. Also from Spider Shop, a live ladybird spider, so second day, first Lenatus. Um, and these guys look absolutely stunning, I think. I've kept a type of second life before, but not this uh, particular species. So, so just get it up and look at her. I just think, oh, it's such a cute little spider. Absolutely, absolutely adorable. So, yeah, couldn't resist. Picking one of these up, um, they had a few, of those, a few of these, so I was like, yeah, let's go on, let's get one. So, so yeah, absolutely stunning little spider. So, um, also picked up a new centipede, so it's got a pen, just singulata, Egyptian blue leg centipede. I was uh, kind of hard and hard between this one and their uh, mortal sounds that they had. So, and then plumped for, for this one in the end. Uh, absolutely stunning little, uh, little centipede. These guys don't get uh, too big. Um, and then my ultimate purchase, or at least for me, my ultimate purchase with these guys so a pair of Calcasoma Kokoskis, uh, the giant Atlas Beetles. Um, so they had both uh, these guys and also Calcasoma Atlas as well, which are slightly smaller and then the Kokoskis. Um, and so it was a little bit cheaper, um, and I saw sort of Hunter Hunter the two. Um, and well, I plumped for these guys. Just look at the size. This, so this is the female. You can see next to my hand, they are big beetles. As so I saw them go up on their website, and um, both species are like, ooh, ooh, I'm very, very tempted. And so, um, and then when I saw them there, and when I saw them, I sold a few things and had the money, I was like, go on, then I'm taking the plunge and getting these guys. So, so this is the male, um, absolutely stunning beetles. Absolutely, absolute brutes, uh, massive, real big with real big horns on them. I love the way how these guys just, just how they look. They're so shiny. They kind of don't look real, but trust me, they are real. Oh, um, so these are hopefully um, I can breed them. So that is uh, is my aim. Hopefully, hopefully at least I'll get you know try and get the male mating with the female. And uh, get some some eggs and some larvae, um, but these do take a long time as larvae uh, to grow up and mature. And the thing with a lot of beetles is that they don't necessarily live very long as adults. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, these two will will breed for me. Um, and if they do, their larvae are gonna eat a hell of a lot of wood and flake soil. Okay, guys, so that was my show footage and my pickups from the BTS. 2022 what do you guys think was you at the bts if you was i hope you had a fantastic day i, I did it was absolutely manic it was busy we knew it was going to be a busy show it's always busy there so and i think the fact that again it hasn't been on for two years just made it even busier so um i heard reports that some around 2800 people came through the doors yeah i couldn't quite believe that so um, there were a lot of people there um and yeah it was just busy from the word go uh when the doors are opened um i was there on the stand uh maze of reptiles toy stand did take some uh inverts to sell as well which i did sell a fair few uh which was nice uh which then actually gave me the money to obviously invest in getting some of these newer things so and what do you think to my pickups and gifts uh, that i was given um i personally love them all my favorite is by far the uh the atlas beetles i have kept those before um, and wasn't quite successful in breeding before, but hopefully this time, fingers crossed, I'll uh, get some mates. I haven't mated yet. Um, I thought they perhaps would 
uh, when I first put them together um, but the male buried herself and the male was just uh, took a bit too long so um, so we'll, we'll see we'll see hopefully they will do so they're in that smaller container that's a bit too small for proper egg laying um, but in the hope that the male will find a female um, on the surface of the substrate as soon as I've I know I've seen mating, or at least once it's been long enough that there should be mating, I will then put the, at least a female into a much bigger, deeper container uh, to allow for the egg laying and hopefully, well, fingers crossed, get hopefully lots of eggs and then larvae and then I've got to smile with lots and lots of rotten wood or flex oil and stuff, so that'll be fun. So, uh, but guys, this was the video, so if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up, pop some comments down below and if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload, upload another video. Uh, I think the next video will probably be uh, the rehousings of uh, some of these uh, and also some are you know I won't do like rehousings of the larvae because um, that's kind of boring for a lot of people um, and certain things I won't necessarily film. I didn't film uh, the little uh, David Bowie uh, sling just because I needed to concentrate on that um myself just it being small and delicate and stuff just to get some substrate into the vial and, uh, and a bit of cork but i'll show you you know what it looks like now so um but i'll show you like yeah the beetles in there in the setup uh, that i've put them in so um and you know things like the centipede and so the uh, little second life is probably saying what it's in just to add some more things to it so um and then that should be be all right as well a nice size sort of potentially nice size enclosure for it well that's all day for this video so take care stay safe and keep rocking